Welcome back to News 5. Indonesia has released eight Indonesian men who were earlier turned away by Singapore authorities at Woodlands Checkpoint after officers found images of security concern on one of them. They were sent back to Malaysia, which deported them to Indonesia. Our reporter Leong Wai Kit with much more. The eight Indonesians are aged between 16 and 37. Most of them are in their 20s. Now, the Indonesians say they're from Padang, West Sumatra. Indonesian media said the group had gone to Malaysia on January 3rd. They were there to preach and seek medical help for one of them. Four days later, they went to southern Thailand to study the education system at the Islamic Education Board in Patani province. Then they returned to Malaysia and tried to come to Singapore to take part in the study and learn more about religious Islamic teachings. Malaysian media said the group tried to enter Singapore at 1.30am on January 10. But they were detained after checkpoint officers found images on one of their mobile phones which showed a shoe bomb as well as fighters from terrorist group Islamic State or IS. The Home Affairs Ministry said the group was then handed over to Malaysian police for further investigation. They were detained at 2.30am and were questioned to 9am. The group was then deported to Batam, Indonesia by ferry. Indonesian police then questioned the group further. But they said the group did not have any links to IS. The image was saved from one member's WhatsApp group chat. Now the man claimed that he has left the chat but didn't realise the photos were still on his phone. When a person enters uh, our country, the authorities have every right to inspect what you are carrying, whether it's in your luggage, including your, your phone. And so if you have any publication, electronic form, in hard copy paper form, or a book or whatever, and if this publication has a tendency to incite or, or encourage violence or acts of terrorism, then it is covered by the Undesirable Publications Act. One security expert says given today's security threats, the authorities have to be extra careful. He added that this incident might spark off more checks on travellers' personal devices. And it's not just travellers who will be affected. Now potential perpetrators or ter terrorists, uh, actors, will be more vigilant themselves and delete these images before even uh, coming to the customs point or checkpoints of any country. Because terrorists learn as they go along and uh, they've learned from this how to be more uh, careful. He expects that technology will be able to automate some security checks on personal devices in the next three to five years. Well, meanwhile, Indonesian authorities say that all border control processes were properly followed. Setiap negara ya, memiliki wewenang untuk bisa melarang siapapun masuk ke negaranya. Walaupun dia punya visa, punya paspor yang berlaku dan lain sebagainya, termasuk Indonesia, ya kita harus mengikuti benar-benar aturan mereka. Jadi haknya mereka itu hak semua negara.